going on behind the pancreas at the root of the superior mesenteric artery? We need a better angle. We're not going to get a better angle. Definitely not when we're actually operating. So what's the solution? There isn't one. Not surgically. We should refer them to an oncologist. Chemo might help, but I'm not hopeful. What are you going to tell them? You guys are third year. You want stuff to learn by doing? How about sympathetic communication? Sean, let the bride know she's probably dying. Is everything okay? The nurse told us he didn't finish the surgery. Suzanne? You have very extensive cancer throughout your abdomen. It appears to be malignant. And it appears to have metastasized around every organ. But there's hope with surgery. We can't see the retrohepatic part of the cancer because of the liver. We can't see the retroperitoneal part because of the right kidney. Yes, I know. That's why we should take out the organs. You want to remove her liver and right kidney? Yes, and also her left kidney and her pancreas and the intestinal tract and the stomach. You do know that several of those organs are quite essential. We'll put them back. We remove them, clean up the cancer, then put them back. Ex vivo surgery. It's been done for pancreatic cancer. Without much success. No. You think it worked better here? Not really. But the alternative is death. This type of surgery has never been done for this condition. We'd be dealing with every one of your abdominal organs, and something could go wrong with any of them. You could be on dialysis for the rest of your life. You could have a very compromised digestive tract, lifelong diabetes. You could have liver failure. That's not a complete list. You could die. And uh, if we don't do the surgery? Chemotherapy and radiation, although the likelihood of success is slim, about 25%. You may prefer hospice care. You'd probably live maybe a year, but it'd be a good year. Could you give us some time to think about it? bumped into a very understanding woman. You amazingly caught a bottle of wine. Where was the disaster? Unclamped superior mesenteric to profuse the organs. The small intestines look dusky and cyanotic. We'll need to resect all the necrotic segments. Claire, find the first viable part of the ilium and clamp proximal to it. We need some help over here! Male 30, escaping 10 centimeter laceration to his left cheek. Probable fractured temporal bone, maxilla, definitely shattered mandible. What happened? We tried to stop some creeper from groping a woman on the subway. Maniac ended up bashing his skull in with some kid's skateboard. Wheels broke off and the metal axle did that. 
Okay, we need to secure his airway. His mouth is filling up with blood. Intubation cart? He has a through and through oral defect, and the mandible is crushed. We need hemostats. The woman? She's fine. Cops arrived, taser dude, took him away in cuffs. Everybody's fine except for the hero. We're gonna need to intubate through the neck. Need a dine, scalpel 602 to play surgical cry. He's a fool. Trying to prove how macho you are can get you killed. Plant the branch of the inferior alveolar. So you would just stand by? Let a woman get groped? Apply manual compression, try and close the fracture gap. You help every homeless drug addict you see on the subway? I don't. And neither does Brown, which is why she ought not get so self-righteous. Yes. I help my patients to the best of my ability because it's meaningful. And to me, the downside is purely financial. For friends, I'll risk it a little bit more, but the only people I'm risking life and limb for are my family. Someone gropes my wife on the subway, they're gonna get whooped. This isn't gonna work. The mandibular ramus is just too shattered and I can't get adequate stabilization. We can't do any skin or muscle grafts if we can't fix the skeletal structures. Teleplastic augmentation to bridge the gap? Span is too wide. We're gonna have to wire him shut. Wake him up. He should know he's never gonna talk or eat solid food again. Forever. Do you have any questions? I'm sorry. <laughs> Goes unpunished. Why does it always work out that way? It doesn't. Most good deeds get rewarded. What do you base that on, Murphy? Certainly not the news or the Forbes 500. Or the Bible. I base it on neuroscience. Bad outcomes just implant deeper in our cerebral cortex. So evolution agrees with me. Our brains encourage us to be selfish. Yes. Which makes it strange that people keep being unselfish. You are. You saved my job, and now you're an attending instead of the president. Screws and wire ligature. We're not doing this. We can do better. There is no other procedure. We'll invent one. It's like a puzzle. You secure to the artery, and the vessel just won't quite stretch to the vein. You could mobilize the recipient vessel. Repeat that, Dr. Brown. Mobilize the recipient vessel to create more slack. You saw Carly again. How was it? Inconvenient. But despite her intrusion, I was still able to concentrate on medicine. It wasn't an intrusion, that was a date. It was walking. Walking with someone you like, who likes you too, is a non-date date. Some of the best dates that I have had did not involve flowers and restaurant reservations, just sharing a bag of chips and sitting on a couch. <laughs>